women we saw that yes they want love and they want romance and they want relationships there were other desires of their hearts they had goals and dreams that they had for their careers or the kinds of families that they wanted for their health so we started thinking you know what it's not just about love it's about having the life and the love that their hearts truly desire and what we found is that when women find the love of their lives, all of a sudden the other dreams that they had start to come true also. An irresistible woman is a woman who really loves herself. And I know a lot of people talk about, yes, I love myself, but we're talking about a deep and true love, falling in love with yourself. And what she is is she's a woman who's confident, she's happy, she's vivacious, she's mesmerizing. And she's being that not because she's trying to attract a man into her life, but because that is her true essence. And so in the Irresistible Woman live event, what a woman discovers is everything that's covering that up. And when that gets unleashed, that love of self gets unleashed, everything else becomes possible. Not to trust them because I want to catch like the first sign that they're trying to pull one over on me. Um, the impact is I will scare everyone away or leave them because I'm convinced that they're doing something that they're not. Of course the issue of trust, but then there's the also, I'll get you before you get me. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the expecting to be disappointed, and then you are disappointed, so then you get to be? Right. Yes. And the brain, the ego, loves to be right. That's why it's important to get out of here and touch here. Because you're not going to think yourself into a relationship. You are not going to think yourself into love. You're not going to think yourself into intimacy. And then all that strategy, which we're going to be talking about, some of these skills that work really well in business, like strategizing works really well in business, works really well out in, in the world. And then when you come into an intimate relationship, when you're strategizing, you're already protecting yourself against something that hasn't happened and then you wonder why the other person isn't getting closer to you. So you have to be able to know yourself enough, to be clear enough about what you want, first of all, to know what you want in a partner. So when you know who you are and you're clear about what you want, then all of a sudden you can tell what you want from what you don't want. And you don't have to spend time with situations that are gonna cause hurt that are going to cause unnecessary pain and you certainly don't have to spend time wondering if somebody loves you or not because you'll be clear and you'll be able to identify it. It's an amazing experience. It is the privilege of our lives to be able to be the source that helps women discover what it is that's been missing for them and then give them the tools so they can go out there and create amazing lives and amazing relationships. There's nothing more beautiful. Uh, one of the things that we always say is our dreams come true only when their dreams come true because this is our dream to create a world where every woman every single one has the opportunity to create the love that they have always wanted in their life and to live that for the rest of their lives what's most touching about the work that we do is that many times when women come to the event they're not even aware of what's been stopping them they, they just know that there's a pain in their heart or there's something in their life that is just not giving them the experience of happiness and fulfillment that they want. And then they come to the event and they discover, oh my gosh, this is what has been in the way. This is what's been stopping me. And they get that they actually have the power to remove that from their lives and create anything that their hearts truly, truly desire. And to be able to witness that moment, that aha moment, that Oh my gosh, it is possible for me to love and be loved. It is possible for me to have a wonderful relationship with my husband. In that moment, what I experience is, is thank you. Thank you that I get to be a part of this. I'm getting emotional right now. Thank you that we had the courage to create something that provides that access so that a woman can step into her power and have the life, the love, the happiness, the career, every single thing that her heart truly desires. Here's how the male, the male brain works. Men and ladies, this is one of those moments that you could really have a shift. Not just with your man, your romantic man, with your dad, with your male children. Men need problems to thrive. 
they need challenges. It is an inherent need. It's not like, it's how, how we need to feel and hear, I love you. Those challenges are what have him feel on purpose. And when we're constantly preventing the challenges, because we feel like that's, and it's not, you're doing it from a loving place, but you're also doing it from an in order to place, which is in order for me to not have to do it anyway, even though I'm doing it anyway, anyway, right? <laughs> so, but men thrive inside of a problem as uncomfortable as it is to watch someone you love struggle. That's where he taps into his power that you're like, why do I still feel empty? Why can't he say that he loves me? You know, when we're not having sex. When you're having sex, are you receiving or are you the one in control? That's why he... Yes. So that's why he's able to tell you that he loves you. You're receiving, you're not giving. You're receiving his love, and it's where he feels most masculine. When they come into the event the first day, what you hear is a lot of pain, maybe some confusion, a lot of questions about why is it the way that it is for me? By the time the third day comes and they have discovered that thing, the missing piece for them, or the missing pieces for them in many cases, what it's like, it's, the, it's a filling of the heart. It's knowing that your purpose is being fulfilled in the world. And it's knowing that this gift that we have, this thing that we created, is making a difference in the lives of there's nothing like it. And there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. One of the most common comments that we get from women, and I love when I hear this, is they say, you just create this beautiful, sacred, loving space. It's like a sisterhood. And I think the fact that we're sisters and that we get to do this work together is a big part of that. But it's even more special when we get to add another 100, 200 sisters to our family and to really create the magic that women don't realize the power that we have to create magic, to create miracles. And the fact that we all come together and we also create the magic and the miracle of love in the world, it's just a beautiful experience I think every woman needs to have. We've come to the end of the weekend and the beginning of a new future. And you have new sisters that are here for you every step of the way.